VVVV Beta 39 is out and in this video I'm going to show you what's new. First you will notice there is now an installer. So after downloading it really takes you only a few clicks to get up and running. Note that we don't install two program files by default because VVV won't run from there. So by default we install to your C drive. You can change that. It just needs to be in a directory that allows you write access. Then you see uh, this also by default installs the atom pack. So if you don't uncheck this, you get the atom pack. One more click. So it is now downloading the actual program and installing it. And in just a few seconds, you will be up and running. When you're creating a new patch, you'll notice two differences. Uh, first, we increased the size a bit and made it a nice quad. But more importantly, a new patch now has a default name and a default location. This has two advantages. It means that now even before saving a patch, you can start with cloning an Effect or C Sharp plugin or a VL plugin. Like so, I'm creating this template here, clone it, give it a name, and it works. Uh, only later I might want to think about saving the patch and even here I don't have to give it a name or find a location. I can use the default save name and location. Now the question is where will I find it later? And the answer is here. In the main menu we have this new entry called recent sketches. This opens an explorer for you right at the location where we put all the patches by default so you can easily find them the next time you start VVVV. We finally added a simple WebSocket node. So you type WebSocket, remember with the right click in the node browser you can open help patches directly. And this just shows you a very simple use case, connects to a default public WebSocket URL. You say connect, it is now connected and now I can send something and the WebSocket in this case will just send me back what I sent. So I send woo and it sends me back woo. VVVV now supports RCP, the remote control protocol, which allows us to quickly remotely control any I.O. box in a patch. So all you have to do is open a browser, go to rabbitcontrol.github.io slash client, uh, which pops up this website. And if you have a rabbit node in the patch, you can now connect to the patch. And every I.O. box that you expose using control K will now show up in the browser. You can change the text, you can change uh, the font, and you can change the color. If you want to learn more about RCP, have a look at the help patch of the Rabbit node by pressing F1 on it. Finally, VVVV also ships with ready-to-use PBR effects. Note though, they will only show up in your node browser if you have the DirectX 11 pack installed, which is an extra download from the contributions. I highly recommend you check out the help patches. Uh, PBR stands for physically based rendering and it's a set of nodes that allows you to easily get high quality rendering uh, realized. Um, Apart from the fact that you can change material qualities, like you can specify roughness and metal quality. But um, one interesting feature is that it also allows you to set uh, lights easily. You see we have three different types of lights here. Number two uh, is a spotlight, which we can move around and you see how that affects the scene. Uh, turn it off. Um, number one is the point light, which behaves like this. And number zero is uh, classic directional light. So these are really highly recommended. Basically, they should replace uh, using Fong nodes. And this would already have been it if Beta 39 didn't also ship with an update to the latest VL. VL comes with tons of updates, too many to mention, so I want to just highlight uh, three 
here briefly. First, we got new uh, beautiful tooltips that even includes uh, image tooltips. Then we have new I.O. boxes that automatically adapt to the slice count and you can still scroll through the values with the mouse for example or here if you have an input I.O. box you can even insert uh, slices at a desired position. And the last thing I want to briefly mention is that with VL you can use a lot of uh, new packages. You can find them on NuGet.org. NuGet.org is a package managing system for .NET. And if we type VL here, then these are all packages that people have contributed already, specially made for use with VL. For example, the Kinect 2 packages here or Elementor, the UI library package. So these can also be used and really all other .NET nougats can also be used, but this is a bit more of an advanced topic, so it might not be interesting for everyone. If you want to learn more about VL, be sure to know our YouTube channel, VVVVTV. This is where in the section VVV Gamma we publish new tutorials. Everything you learn in these tutorials is also applicable to VL, because as you know, VL is the language that is shared between VVV Beta and Gamma. So we hope you enjoy this release and have a good patch.